Hey again everyone, so I'm back with another review and that is on Burnmark by Laura Powell and as always I will read you the back of the book. I'll win or I'll burn whatever it takes. Glory is destined to become a witch. When she does, she's going to make sure her East End coven is one to respect and fear again. But a dangerous mix of conspiracy and betrayal raises the stakes. And then Lucas Stern, rich, privileged and a potential witch finder, enters her life. Now Glory and Lucas must put aside their differences to form an uneasy alliance and fight for their lives. Um, okay, so this is an ARC copy. Um, I showed you the finished cover at the beginning of the video. It looks like this. So it's very similar. It's just got um, the girl on it. And cover-wise, it's nice. Um, the fire is really relevant because witches, um, if they commit witch crimes, are still burnt at the stake. And this is set in like an alternate but contemporary London and what I don't get with the cover is yes it's got um, Glory the main female protagonist on the cover but the boy Lucas also plays an equal part he's just as important as her in the story so I don't really know why he's not represented on the cover as well um, I just think it's kind of unfair <laughs> Um, so if you guys remember, when I got this in my book haul stash in my mailbox, I was really, really excited for it. I thought it sounded awesome. And unfortunately, I was left really, really disappointed by this book. I hate to say it because I had such high expectations, but it just wasn't what I wanted to read at all. Um, it took me ages and ages to get into this book. Absolutely ages. The beginning, I felt, was so slow and drawn out. And not only that, but it was repetitive as well. I just kept, I just felt like I kept reading the same thing over and over again. Um, and it didn't help, like, because obviously normally I'm a big fan of dual perspectives in books. And in this we do have both Glory and Lucas's point of view. But I just felt they kept both saying the same thing over again. So I just felt like it stagnated and the plot didn't drive forward in any way. So this book is only like 416 pages and it took me over two weeks to read. Now in no way shape or form should a book take me that long to read. So that's the biggest indicator that I just wasn't enjoying it at all. Um, I really liked the world and it's kind of a strange sort of witch-like dystopian world. Um, basically in this world the witches get the fae which is their ability to perform magic and it's it's known about and basically society controls the witches um, they're considered dangerous and kind of unnatural even though they're born with it they're considered sort of freaks and unnatural and so they're bridled them they so they can't perform their magic unless um, it's a job for society like nursing or something um, so I thought that sort of world was really interesting and the Inquisition um, obviously the historical Inquisition sort of comes into play here and they're still around they're still in charge of bringing um, rogue witches to um, justice etc etc so that world was really really good but I just couldn't get into it because the writing was just so slow and I found it really, really boring. Um, Glory is in this sort of um, lower class London where she um, has her coven and they sort of illegally um, sell things. They use their magic for sort of crime. So I thought combining like the criminal world with magic was a really, really good idea. And Lucas is... Um, a privileged son of the High Inquisitor really. His father is really high up in the um, Inquisition and then he comes down with the Fae. So I found his story more interesting but both characters were boring. Also they're supposed to be age 15 but they don't act 15, they don't speak like they're 15 so all around the characters were just unbelievable and I am so devastated that I didn't enjoy it like the last 50 pages picked up but the other 350 were so damn slow like I couldn't sit down and read 50 to 100 pages in one go like I normally can I was lucky if I wasn't bored to death 
to read 20 pages at a time and that's just not like me even if I'm not in like loving a book I can normally read more than that but this was just slow um it is uh, if you don't like any romance in your books whatsoever I mean like none you might enjoy this book as like a fantasy sort of dystopian world in um involving witches but for me for it to be so sort of slow and dull um i feel like if it had just like that romantic spark in it somewhere it could have kept me interested a little bit more um endeared it to me that little bit more but it just didn't so i was just all flat out like disappointed um i have still got unanswered questions like a ton of unanswered questions um i tried to look on goodreads to see if this was like a book one and it doesn't say burn mark book one so from that i assume it's a standalone or a sequel just isn't planned yet or whatever but this can't work as a standalone there's just too many unanswered questions i mean the first 200 pages were so repetitious and boring and then at the end i have all these unanswered questions i'm like what's going on i have no idea i i was just flat out disappointed with this um i on my blog i gave this two out of five but like on reflection i think that was generous i i would probably say one to 1.5 stars that's how disappointed i am and i feel really bad that i feel that way but my, even my mum was like you're still reading that book i thought you would have been finished with that by now and i'm like yeah so did i but um no i was sorely disappointed um if you've read it i'd love to know what you thought about it because this book just wasn't doing it for me but if you read it and liked it or you didn't like it let me know why in the comments below and happy reading guys